Hey guys, welcome to day six of uh, the breeding series. I threw some new yarn in there she can do with what she wants. And if you see, I got a little bed, a little cushy bed I got today. The babies are in there and then she can just cover them up with the uh, paper towel and the yarn. I gave her some new stuff. Um, and also a new little dish. The dish is really cute. It's got little footprints on the side and a little like, it's a hamster face, but hey, it works. Um, sad, I do have some sad news to report. Her two biological babies that just recently turned into fuzzies have passed away, both of them. Um, when I was putting the bed in and the new bedding and stuff, I did find them uh, passed away. She buried one of them. It took me a second to uh, find it. She buried one of it, one of them in the litter. So I had to kind of move things around to find it. Um, the other one was more viewable. Um, so I took them out. Very, very sad about that. Um, it is possible that the older ones are just hogging her. Um, but the pinky, the adopted pinky is still okay. And the four fuzzies are okay. And the four fuzzies, technically there's one fuzzy um, because three of them have their eyes open. So three of them are hoppers. But so she's down to five babies instead of seven. But it's okay. Um, it's still a decent start as long as they are okay. She also seems to be pregnant again. She looks pregnant to me. A um, little round in the belly. Um, right now, I'm not quite sure where she is. One of them is in the tunnel. Okay, one of them is in the tunnel, and one of them is in the tube. But um, here, let me show you the babies. So here we have... Here we have our fuzzies. There's our three hoppers and a fuzzy, and our pinky is in there someplace. Oh, pinky's down there. You can see the little body. Um, so yeah, three of these little guys have their eyes open, and one of them doesn't. But it's going to happen anytime. And then we've got our little pinky. Hopefully the little pinky will be okay. I'm wor I'm actually concerned at this point now with her fuzzies passing away that um, maybe these older ones are just kind of hogging her and they're not getting enough milk. Um, here she's coming back. So I don't know, but you know, do what you can do. There's one of the babies coming back into the bed. That's the one, obviously, by her back that does not have his eyes open yet. Um, but it, it looks like it'll happen soon. Um, there's a fuzzy walking over by the tube. Let's see. I've moved things around, so now it's hard to see. Um... Oh, it's in the tube now. The fuzzy went in, or the hopper went into the tube, so can't see him. But she can bury everybody again if she wishes. Um, but yeah, so sad, sad about the pinky, about the fuzzies. Her new, her biological babies didn't make it, but her adopted ones are all still going strong. Hopefully, the pinky will make it. I'm more concerned about the pinky now than I am about the fuzzy and the hoppers. But, um, oh, there's the pinky. He's still, he's still, uh, going strong there. So, hopefully everybody else will be okay. Let's watch a little bit.
my guess would be that um, the older babies um, were hogging mom and uh, pushing them ba the younger ones out of the way. That would be my guess as to why um, her two biologicals passed away. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about Pinky. Um, not so much about the older ones. Clearly, um, you know, you live and you learn. Um, it's best to just nurse one age at a time. But um, hopefully everybody else will be okay. And then from here on out, I'll just let her nurse her own litters. Um, which, I mean, she is pregnant again, I think. She does look like she's pregnant again. So we got a, a baby underneath the bed. Hopefully you can find your way out. Look at these adventurers. <laughs> the little Pinky is uh, in there alone. I'll want to check to make sure he's alive. Hang on one second, guys. Yes, Pinky is alive. Pinky is alive, so no concerns there at this point. Um, sibling is checking on him. <laughs> look at these pink, look at these hopper babies roaming around. Like, really roaming around. They're very busy. <laughs> I think that one is lost under the uh, bed. Yeah, he's got, he's the one with his eyes closed, so I'm going to rescue him. There. Rescued the fuzzy, because he couldn't see where he was or how to get out of the corner he got himself into. So he's back in the bed with his, with his, uh, sister or brother with the eyes open and the pinky, and he's going to climb out again. <laughs> I just fished you out of that corner, little one. I think his eyes are going to open any day. Any day. But our older babies are definitely on the move. Definitely on the move. Dad is in the tunnel. Let's see. I put some paper towel in there. <laughs> Mom is in the tube. And then we got a fuzzy, or we got a hopper roaming around somewhere. Oh, it's in the tube with mom. So I'll just continue to let you watch for a few minutes. Actually, I think this could be mom. I think dad's in the tube. This looks like mom. How round she looks. I think mama might be prego. <laughs> yeah, that's mom.
get to work reburying her babies. watching everybody i'll see you tomorrow for day six